This is the video for the large cube for you guys. Now, as you can see, the large cube is mostly done. Uh, I did it mostly off camera because it would just take too long if I did it on camera. So I'm going to show you how to complete these pieces and I'm going to tell you how many you need and what size they are and then how you're going to put it together. Let's talk about what you need. These strips are six inches long and you're actually going to need 32 of them. So you need 32 six inch strips. These are 2.5 inches long and you're going to need 24 of them. That, that's just for one part. Those six inch strips comprise the majority of the cube and that's this part, right? But you see, we have an extra end here. In order to make this work properly, we're gonna need four of these that are seven inches long. That means that we need 16 seven inch strips to complete the four seven inch pieces. So to repeat, you're gonna need 32 six inch strips and you're gonna need 16 seven inch strips. I think those numbers are correct. Forgive me if they are not. If they are not, it's easy to just make more. So it's not a big deal. Um, now, speaking of the seven inch ones, there these are three per piece. So there's four pieces. So you need an additional 12 pieces for this. So you need 24 for the six inches and you need 12 for the seven inches, which I don't have because they are already in the cube. For the construction of the larger cube, it's a little bit different because as you make things bigger and bigger with the paper, it starts to lose support. So we have to make the construction of it very sturdy so it can hold itself up. Now there's not much left to do, but to show you how to put this together and how to give it a, a strong support. And that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna show you how to put together uh, a six inch a six inch piece and then I'm gonna add that piece to my to my cube which is this piece that's missing um, right here and the seven inch pieces are put exactly the same way let me show you how to put this thing together and how these pieces work what you're gonna do is you're gonna get one of your 2.5 inch pieces and one of your six inch pieces uh, put a little bit of glue and just put them together you want to make sure that all of the 2.5 inch pieces are on the same side. So turn that over and you're going to get another. And you're just going to glue that right to the top. Now take your best guess as to where the center of this is. And get your last 2.5 inch piece and you're gonna glue it to that center. You're gonna make an E. Once your E is made, you're gonna get another six inch piece and you're gonna glue it directly next to the first piece. But again, you just wanna make sure that they are on the same side. So turn that over, glue it directly next to your first piece. Once that's done, you could get another one and you're gonna glue it directly next to your second piece. And I think you can guess what we're gonna do with this last one. We're gonna take this last one and we're just gonna put a dab of glue and we're gonna glue it directly next to our third piece. Now. Now those have to be glued down to the rest of the E, so that's what we're going to do. Lift it, glue it down, glue it down, lift it, glue it down, and glue it down. Lift it, glue it down, 
and glue it down. Once that's done, the next step is to form um, the side of the cube. So we're going to start to fold this. Make sure that the 2.5 inches um, that they stay out. So you're going to fold this. If they're sticking out of this side, you're going to fold this in like this uh, because there's another step later that we don't want those pieces to interfere with. So we're going to start to fold that over. And this little extra flap that you have, fold that over as well. And then we're going to glue that together with that extra flap. So we're gonna put a little dab of glue right here and we're gonna glue that together. Little dab of glue right here and we are going to glue that together. A little dab of glue right here and we are going to glue that together. Now that's going to be a side of our cube. Already that's a little bit stronger than the other paper that we've been working with, but that's not strong enough. Now I'm going to show you how you're going to make that a bit stronger, uh, considerably stronger actually. You're going to take just a loose piece of paper and you're going to roll that up as thin as you can get it. Roll it up from the smaller side, like I'm doing here. That is too big, so we have to make that thinner. And the reason we have to make that thinner is because we're going to fit that in here, and that's going to give this a lot of strength. And um, I don't think it's thin enough yet, but I forced it in there. Okay, once you fit that paper in there, this is going to be a lot stronger. You're going to have a little bit of excess here. So what we're going to have to do with the excess is we're going to have to cut it off. And now you're going to be able to feel that this has some strength behind it. And we're going to add that as our missing piece right after we seal off these edges so that paper inside can't escape. So we're just going to quickly seal up those edges with joints. Now these joints can be whatever size, just make sure that they can cover it. If you want, you can put a little bit of glue here at the top. Try to keep it as flat as possible here and a little bit of glue over here. Now we're going to seal up the other side. And that is one of your sides for the cube. You're going to need eight of these and four that are seven inches long. And now we take our big cube. And it's so big it barely fits on the camera. So let's try to fit it right there. We're going to add some glue over here and some glue over here. And we're just going to complete our large cube. Hold that nice and firm until it dries. Then if you want, this will actually make it a little bit stronger. You can create seals here and it's going to hold it together a little bit better. And I actually recommend that and it doesn't take that much time. 
and it's going to give you much more strength. This cube is pretty cool. I'll probably finish those uh, additional joints in class and you could actually see it. It's, it's, much, it's much larger than the other ones and much stronger too. Alright, I'll see you in class.